look at that. Hey everybody, this is Dan with Learning to Smoke. Who doesn't love a good chocolate chip cookie? How about you mix it up and put it into a cast iron skillet and cook it on your grill? Just follow along with these simple steps and uh, you'll be mixing it up with your family, having a chocolate chip cookie out of a skillet and putting some fun toppings on there and making it a great treat. So you're gonna jazz up that chocolate chip cookie. You can either just eat it all to yourself or you can share it with your family or friends. I'm not gonna judge you, but anyway, follow along and uh, we'll cook up this cookie together. So we've got our setup here to make our cookie dough. So what we're gonna do now is start out with a cup of butter at, or sorry, not a cup, a stick of butter at room temperature. That's gonna be a half cup if you're doing measuring there. But anyway, one stick. Okay, then we're gonna go with half a cup of sugar. And then we'll do a one fourth cup of brown sugar as well. Gotta have all the good sugar in there. All right, I'm gonna use my mixer. If you don't have a mixer, a hand mixer, or even a spoon and a bowl will work too. I'll go ahead and mix this around. Okay, as that's mixing up, the next ingredient's gonna be uh, vanilla, which I like Mexican vanilla. Uh, I love the flavor and the smell of it. And then we're gonna do an egg too. So with this, we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. This should be done mixing now. Crack the egg. Make sure you don't get any shell in there. Yes, all right. No shell. Okay, now, go ahead and take this teaspoon. I like to pour it over the bowl, so if we get any excess in there, then awesome, it goes right in there. And there we go. Do a teaspoon, and now we're gonna mix it up again. And we're almost done with the process. This is as far as making the chocolate chip cookie dough goes. Okay. Now, we do flour. So I like to do just over a cup. So I'll probably do like a cup and a fourth. So I'm gonna do a heaping cup of flour. That right there is good enough for me. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put that there. I'm gonna mix in a half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. Just regular table salt. There's baking soda. Here's our salt. Right. Right, so we'll go ahead and mix that up now. With the flour in there, I like to start it slow, because if you do it too fast, it goes everywhere. And then as that mixes up, uh, before it gets fully mixed, I'm gonna crack open a bag of these chocolate chips here. And I'm gonna use about half the bag of chips. Uh, if you like to get very generous with your chips, then go ahead and put more in, but I like to do half a bag or so. Kind of go off of the looks there. Okay, I did over a half because I like it extra chocolatey chippity. All right. And as that's finishing up, we're gonna go ahead and grab the handy dandy skillet. It's a cast iron skillet, it's already been seasoned. So what I've done with it is I just put some uh, canola oil, rubbed it on the bottom there. You can do vegetable oil if you want, or you can do other alternatives like avocado oil, if you like. But as I was saying earlier, I'm using a 10 inch skillet on this. And of course, make sure you're using clean hands. And what I like to do is I like to flatten out the cookie dough as I start to put it in. I like to press it out, press it from the center on out towards the sides. I probably should have done a bigger pile to start out, but anyway. It is what it is. You can always improvise, add pieces here and there. That's what I'm doing right now. OK. 
Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing it out to the sides, to the edges, I should say, just barely enough to the edges. And you'll notice that I have extra cookie dough left, so you can feel free to eat that, which I guess I'm not supposed to suggest that you eat that just because apparently it's not good to eat raw cookie dough, but it's just good for your soul, not so much good for your body. Anyway, okay, got it pushed out enough. Like I said, we're just doing like a thinner layer. Now what we're gonna do is throw this on the grill for about 10, 11 minutes. So with the pellet grill, uh, when you preheat it, you wanna make sure the lid's open, otherwise you could hear a boom going on outside in your backyard. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put that lid down. It's already past its warm up time. Gonna wait for it now to get up to 375, and we should take about a couple minutes, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put the cookie on. Okay, we're very close to our time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the grill. Like I said, I'm gonna do about 10 minutes. Super complex, I know. It's been about 10, 12 minutes now, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this cookie off. Make sure you have a high temp glove or even just a pot holder as well because cast irons get very hot because it's been in the grill for a little while. So I'm gonna pull this out. I'm bring it up to the camera here. Uh, as you can see, that's how it looks. Sometimes you'll get like a golden brown uh, color around the edges. But anyway, here, uh, it all looks pretty good to me. I like it a little doughy. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the cutting board. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that dressed up here in a minute. All right, now that this cookie has rested a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do what I like to do. And that is, I like to take some ice cream. I usually like uh, vanilla bean. They did not have vanilla bean at the store, they just had French vanilla, so I'll settle for that. Go ahead, I like to put a few scoops on top. There. And I will do one more. I mean, feel free to do more if you want, but I think three is sufficient. <laughs> I use my hand there because, well, I'm feeding my family, so whatever. Right. Go ahead, do the drizzle dizzle. Do the caramel that way. Then I'll do the chocolate this way. Look at that. Don't you just want to just put your face in it? Well, I would, but I'm going to feed my family here. Actually, you know what? They're not around. Uh, they're inside, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, treat myself. So I'm going to go ahead, get myself in the shot, hopefully I'm there, dig in, have some of this, put that up there. Mm -hmm. My family doesn't know this is done yet, so I'm going to get myself a head start. But anyway, feel free to go check out the website, uh, learningsmoke.com, and uh, find out more about this recipe, and treat yourself.